Merry Christmas from Oregon Outdoor Adventures. Inside today and I just wanted to go over a few uh, of the pocket knives that I carry in my everyday carry or that I have in my collection. Just uh, different ones that I enjoy. And this is an older one that I have that I've used for a while. It's Red Jacket Firearms 1911. Um, came out when they had their TV show on. It's uh, got nice uh, finger grips, nice solid uh, jibbing on the back, pins from both sides, a nice sharp blade. Pocket has a uh, removable screws where you can mount it on either end uh, for your everyday carry. Uh, from Ben Chop Blades, now I don't know, B E N S C H O P, Ben Chop Blades. Um, the BBX 22. Again, it's another everyday carry, but I like this. It's a, a little bit larger knife. It's got serrations on it. And that drop blade looks like. Um, it's got a nice spine. It's kind of thin on the top, um, but it does have the ambidextrous thumb. Um, it is a good size blade um, and uh, very solid. So, I really like it. Um, it's just a solid black knife. Now, I like this one. This is a skeleton. Um, it is a regular, uh, got the pliers. It's got um, Phillips, um, two size Phillips head, and they're kind of a flat. Uh, uh, thin kind of uh, but it goes in and uh, it has a lock and unlock here locks them in that you can use for uh, uh, that everything kind of has it's got a clip on it anyway you can use this for you have a Phillips side and then inside here it has a flat head regular standard as well so you can easily remove this one, enter with a flathead, and uh, so it's got that flathead if you need it. Um, I like it. Uh, I like that everything kind of stores away, is compact, so it's out of the way, uh, but it's easy to get to, it's easy to use. Um, then of course a knife what kind of blade does they have well this has a, a probably a little uh, three inch blade it's very sharp it's got a serrated edge on the bottom um, but this is called the Leatherman skeleton or skeletool and uh, it's just a nice everyday carry liner lock um, just very small uh, you know something you can clip on your backpack uh, clip on your belt That's something you can take with you and use on a daily basis um, For the many different tasks that you might have it doesn't have a lot of tools But you know, it's just a nice gift present you can give to somebody. Yeah So that's from uh, Leatherman uh, Tack force no uh, a lot of people, you know, no tack force is a really inexpensive kind of uh, knife um, This is the speedster model and uh, I really like it. Um, it is uh, an assisted open, kind of got a Skeletor Jurassic Park kind of look to me. Um, got a bottle opener, a uh, place you can put a lanyard if you wanted to. Uh, you can only attach it uh, one way. There's no moving the, uh, the clip from one end to the other. Um, it does have a shredded edge and uh, a nice cutting edge it's called again the tack force um, it's not a bad knife um, you know for an everyday carry knife it's something to use you know it's lightweight um, I do like the spring assist and so that's a you know very nice feature and uh, makes it easy to use and it's a great everyday carry knife um, 
Another everyday carry knife that I like is uh, this. Again, uh, this is um, a Kershaw. I don't know exactly the name. Let's see if I can. Uh, 134BW. So I'm not sure exactly what their name brand is. This is a Kershaw Tonto. Uh, it is a uh, kind of, I think they call it brush washed. Um, and it has the spring assist, which I like. It's a very nice knife. It's what I usually carry on a daily basis. Um, and it's another knife that I have in my collection. Uh, now here's one that I got, um, the Magnum by Boker Knives. Um, this one's a little bit nicer. It's a little different kind of knife. It's got a wood grain finish on it. Uh, it does have the nice clip that you can use. Uh, it's all integrated, so it's a, not something that's scru screwed in. It's all part of the metal. Uh, it uh, is a um, almost like a switchblade, but it's not a spring assist, but it's that kind of look. I don't know what you would call uh, that because I'm not a knife expert, but um, it's got a long, thin blade uh, all the way down. It's sharpened, uh, no serrations. Um, it's got a liner lock, but it is a uh, very solid lock um it's a nice knife it only has a thumb uh assist on one side and it has a pretty big section that pops out to help you but um when it's done it's you know it doesn't have a lot of room and it's pretty flat um it's kind of small in this section for your hand so it does fit in your hand but uh, it, it doesn't have a lot of room to move. It doesn't have any real grips or, you know, anything, uh, to let your hand grip to. So, you know, if you were to hit something, your hand could slide off and of course cut yourself. Uh, it's a very sharp, long blade. So, but it's a, that's a nice knife that I have. And, uh, it's just one that I have in my collection. Uh, that's a Boker knife. It's called the Boker Magnum. Um, another Boker that I have that I showed a couple months ago, this came from BattleBox and, uh, it's a camping multi-tool, um, has a nice blade, um, it has all corkscrew, uh, glass breaker, it has a, uh, a saw, uh, it has a pair of pliers, um, a nice, uh, saw. I like this. It's a long, nice, long saw, good set of cutting teeth on it, you know, and it'd be definitely something you can use for, um, you know, small branches, something that you want to just clean up an area. Um, Let's see what else do we have it looks like we have a uh, pair of scissors spring assist pair of scissors so um, then of course you have your screwdriver bottle opener um, flathead screwdriver and a little cutting tool um, this blade doesn't open all the way it is kind of a halfway open and you know, I think you could use it for like, you know, getting some wood uh, if you wanted to start a fire and you wanted to scrape um, wood off of a branch to make, a, you know, a little kindling. That would be good for that. Um, it does look like you can move the uh, clip from one end to the other so you can move it back and forth. Um, I've seen some people um, actually take these off and uh, color them different colors, even like the OD green. I uh, saw someone did one in a, another uh, color for a family member that wanted one for their purse. So they made it like pink or purple. I can't remember what, but, um, you know, it's a really nice, solid, heavy knife. has some good quality tools on it. And, uh, again, it's just something that's in my collection of knives that I've been getting over the uh, months. 
that I really enjoy. Um, now another knife that I got um, a few months ago uh, was in BattleBox and this was the Saberback Bowie. Now the Saberback Bowie um, is made by Outdoor Edge. It's a very nice uh, knife that uh, has a very nice double saw blade, sawtooth blade on the back. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Maybe you can see that. It's definitely, it's not just a single sawtooth, but it's a double sawtooth. Um, it's got um, a thin spine here, so it wouldn't really be great for batoning, um, especially with the saw blade. You wouldn't be banging anything on it. But as sharp as it is, it definitely could be used as a chopper, could be used to uh, cut. It's got deep inlays here for a good grip. Um, it's got a lanyard hole, no, it's got some space, um, it's got some jimping, and uh, if you wanted to do some small cuts, it does have a place for your finger, so you could get in and do some small uh, whittling. So this is the Saberback Bowie. Now, um, I did manage to order uh, its big brother. The bush team. Now this is the next. Uh, they look kind of the same on the camera, but uh, definitely this one is a little bit larger. Um, it still has some oil on it, but uh, this is called the bush demon. Um, it does have a thicker spine on it, which would be great for batoning. Um, it does have the same handle. Uh, place for a lanyard, but same nice uh, handle grip on it. Uh, let's, let's take a look at these together. So you can see this is the Saberback Bowie, and then this is the Bush Demon. It's got a more of a curved blade, um, a little bit longer, and um, it definitely has a much thicker uh, spine, which would be great for batoning. It also is great, it would be great for going through the woods and cutting some area, a space. Both of these uh, blades um, are easily sharpened. They do have the nice uh, uh, sleeve. I have uh, not heard of anyone having any issues with them actually cutting through the sheath, but I have you know heard of it in the past. Um, these sheaths um, also uh, you can um, carry them um, low by putting this Velcro down and you can actually carry it low, uh, high on your hip, or you can carry it like this from this higher position and have it hang down. And uh, it's got enough uh, holes where you can put the paracord and, and make a strap for your leg uh, as well as... Um, the Saberback Bowie can do the same thing. I really like the way this is uh, cut. Uh, it's a, definitely a multi-tool for the hiking camping crowd. Um, you know, if you're out just trying to get some wood or, you know, you're out in the woods um, hiking, it's a great knife for the day. So, anyway, that's a few of the knives that I've gotten over the last few months through BattleBox and some of the other uh, membership sites. Just wanted to share those with you. Uh, I'll try to put links to them um, if you're interested in any of these kind of knives. Um, you can find them on the web. And uh, have a Merry Christmas from Oregon Outdoor Adventures. Thanks for sharing this uh, video with your friends and uh, subscribing and liking. And uh, have a great day and a Happy New Year.